that's what we're trying to climb, Mount Massive. Uh, 14 and a half thousand feet. We're at 11,800 at the moment. Just out of the forest which we've just come through. Uh, we cut off the Colorado Trail for about a kilometer. And now we can see what we're facing ahead of us. So we're just above the first line, uh, first go up to about 12,000 feet and after that the air is too bare for them. So I'll just give you a view of the panorama. Hello, hey, been up and down? Yep. Good man. Last breath before the final push to the summit up that scree slope. But as you can see the trail all along has been really good. Um, hiker I met said about an hour from here, um, a thousand feet roughly I'd say, but I, I don't think it's going to take an hour. Beautiful out. Although there is a little bit of cloud up there that is scheduled, according to the weather forecast, to turn into thunderstorms around 12.30, so uh, I want to be up and down uh, well before then. So the final part of the climb turns into a little bit of a scramble, uh, which is safe, but the path becomes a little bit indistinct in places. And I wouldn't like to be on that ridge um, if those lightning strikes, you are really, really exposed. And some, even at this altitude, and we're now 14,000 feet, you can see all the beautiful alpine plants which um, I see a lot of daisies and buttercups, quite a few I haven't seen anywhere else before. It's now 11.30 and I've met it on top of Mount Massive, which is the second highest point in Colorado and third highest in mainland, uh, mainland USA. Um, it is absolutely a beautiful hike. Uh, it's nicer than Albert, which I did yesterday. Um, it's probably a more difficult hike because uh, the path becomes quite, quite indistinct near the top of the summit and there is a little bit of scrambling involved. So I'm not going to tarry here too long because there's rain promised within an hour and I want to get safely down before conditions get wet because on these rocks uh, it could become a little bit dangerous it's, it's quite an exposed ridge but there we are absolutely beautiful and great views better views than yesterday And obviously mountain goats can go everywhere because these have made it to the summit. One last magnificent view before I descend. Back down to 12,000 feet and I will shortly be in those, in that forest, so underneath tree cover. Uh, I should be able to be a lot safer if the predicted lightning does strike. I can't figure out, there's continuous booms going on, sonic booms going on, on off around. And I can't figure out whether it is um, fighter testing from the a US uh, Air Force base that's nearby or whether it's thunder that's just going to fairly shortly turn into uh, heavy rain and lightning but at least I'm I think down to safety now so I think the plan of getting down off the mountain as quick as possible was a good one That's Leadville over there. It's the home of um, 
US Trail Racing, and there's a very famous race uh, which uh, happens there called the Leadville 100. I might try some of the route tomorrow, I'm not sure, I haven't quite finalized my plans.